Hello everyone, as in no one. You may be asking where I was in September. Um, I hate to tell you, I just didn't have time to make a video. My upload schedule has been broken, but now I'm here, I'm back this January. Um, and I'm very happy because I would love to talk about an obsession that I've had all through 2022. I have so much to say about the man, the myth, the legend. Um, so this video is really gonna be kind of a variety show, just all my opinions, hot takes, tier lists, icebergs, um, just everything I have to say about what's been going on all through 2022. Consider this a one year anniversary video. Okay, it all started with a video you may recognize called Bowling Alley Screens When You Get a Strike. It was the intro to a Finnish show about politics <laughs> called Who Vat Herra? And it became kind of a meme because of how silly <laughs> the animation was and the amazing song that accompanies it. And so I love the music for that intro. And someone in the comments was like, hey, if you like the music, it's by this guy named UC Holme. And he has other music on Spotify that you can go check out. So I went to his Spotify, clicked a random song and fell in love in more ways than one if you know what i mean okay uc home is a finnish musician he started off in a jazz band in the late 70s and then turned to pop music in the 80s um, he went on eurovision and some other song competitions he released some albums and then in the 90s he started getting into tv music um, and so he's known for many famous finnish tv intros um, and now he still makes music um, he's making lo-fi, which I think is lovely. He's having a UC renaissance in the late 2010s. So since December 2021, I've been listening to his music. I follow him on Instagram. I, his music is amazing. Um, I just, the man is fantastic. And I don't just love him because of his quintessential 80s finished charm. His music is a lovely mix of jazz, funk, soul, and city pop. If city pop was in Finland instead of Japan, um, I really, I just love it. In fact, because of UC, I've actually started learning Finnish this past year, just from transcribing songs and reading articles about him and watching obscure Finnish TV programs. And now I have Finnish on Duolingo. I also have to make a quick disclaimer. There might be a lot of Finnish words in this video. And some of them I can say with the English approximation, like for example, Katsun Elisen. You can just say Katsun Elisen. Sounds fine, right? But some names like Aikar, I can't even say it without doing the accent. I got up golden. Some of them I just cannot bear to say in an American accent. Um, so you'll be subject to me busting out my Finnish accent to say some of the words. Bad or good, I don't speak Finnish. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my god. Katsot yötä tumma. Wait, let me try it again. Katsot yötä yötä tumma. This one's so hard to say. Katsot yötä tumma. How do you say that in an American accent? You can't. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the UC Holme iceberg. Now, I don't want to go over everything on the iceberg because some of it is just very basic history, like bowling alley screens when you get a strike, or the Helman Kalas Diet soundtrack, or his collaborations with Misha. Um, but some of them are hilarious, confusing, obscure, or just downright mysterious. So I'm going to go through it and pick out some of the strangest things that I found when digging around for UC content. So if you're just a surface level UC listener, you may know his chill hop music um, or the other music that's on Spotify from the 80s and 90s. But if you go to his YouTube channel, he has a few videos from that same era um, that are pretty funny. For example, the Emma Patsas was an award that he won in 1985, and it has a very fun video to go with it <laughs> that we'll talk about later. The UC Homey Groove Band is just his band that he performs with now, still doing jazz and funk content. Tutu Yutu refers to a Finnish newlyweds game show that UC and his wife went on in 1995, and he has the full clip on his YouTube. I have seen this video like a thousand times, and I don't know why, but I just love watching it. Joo, eli mä tiedän kyllä, että siinä on kaksi vaihtoehtoa, että se on joku tää Kankkunen tai... This is where UC coined the phrase that you'll hear me walking around the house just saying at random, Se on aivan täysin älytön. Se on aivan täysin älytön. <laughs> the Laurie St. John album refers to an album that UC made with the British DJ Laurie St. John in 1985. And for some reason, it's not on Spotify or any other streaming service or officially released anywhere. Maybe we should get on that? I could only find it on YouTube. The album, lovely. I'm still looking for it. If you happen to see it, like the physical vinyl, send it my way. Just, just Karen and Helena Miller are both singers that UC produce music for, so their music is very heavily UC produced. So they're basically UC songs, they're just not released under his name. For example, the fantastic Dancing in the Night and Boy Can't You See. So good. Which reminds me, I actually have a Helena Miller album on the way coming to me right now that has UC produced music. I can't 
You see one on Eurovision twice, once in 1987 and once in 1990, and both of those performances are on YouTube, so you can watch them. In 1990, he performed the song Katsot Ula Tumma, you see how hard that is to say? And that one is pretty normal, but the Hey Melenitan video from 1987. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Unlike the Eurovision performances, UC was also on several others. Um, throughout the 80s, he was in the Suk Soon and Kevin Savile um, like maybe three or four times. And unfortunately, those videos are lost. Believe me, I have become a lost media investigator and I've been searching for them forever. I have asked UC himself. He doesn't have them. I've looked everywhere online. I've changed my search engine to Finnish as my main language. That was really useful. <laughs> I have searched archives, newspapers, everywhere. I don't think that they are published online. However, the Finnish forum Visu Kupila has a thread from 2012 of people talking about the performances, and you can hear everyone's opinion about the Sukes and Savile and Kevin Savile UC performances from the time. So you know what they were like, you just can't see the video itself. For example, this person says about UC's performance, really shocking clothes. It was really eye-popping. Actually, some of them are really harsh, which just makes me feel bad, but also just makes me want to see the performances even more. The same guy says, the outfit took the attention away from the song itself, which is so lame that it's already breaking the all-time record. <laughs> you see, I promise you, Rocco Tenny Mary is better than people are saying it is. I haven't even heard the song yet. <laughs> The newspaper wall refers to a wall in UC's house that has newspaper clippings of every single time he's been in the newspaper. I would really love to have copies of all of them, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So I took it upon myself to go online and create an account on Helsingin Sanomat, which is the big Helsinki newspaper in Finland. So I've actually been paying them money in euros just to be able to go on and check their archive for any mentions of UC. The thing is Helsingin Sanomat, also called HS, or in Finnish, it's ho ass. Ho ass. Anyway, in order to make an account on ho ass, uh, you have to have a Finnish address, which I don't have. So I just stole one from a hair salon in Espo. I hope neither the newspaper nor the hair salon noticed that I've done that, but that is how I've been able to get all my fresh UC content. Anyway, I dug around and I was able to find a few articles that are pretty interesting that I'll talk about in a second. Okay, so the bottom of the iceberg is personal mysteries that are confusing or obscure or just don't make any sense to me or are just like entertaining in their obscurity. So here they are. The Emma Patsas mystery refers to the Emma Patsas 1985 video that UC has on his YouTube. And it's just the program of him winning the award, but it doesn't make any sense to me. So it's just the announcer guy giving UC um, the Emma Patsas award. And then it cuts to a music video of UC singing the song, and then a girl running down a flight of stairs in slow motion, and then UC again. Here's the problem I have. UC getting the award looks exactly the same as UC in the music video, which makes me think, did they film the music video the same day he got the award? Maybe this is just an Emma Patsas thing and I'm just confused, but that's not his music video. <laughs> it looks like they shot it at the award show. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know what it is. I, I need UC to answer this one for me because I, I don't know. Okay, Lori St. John Deported refers to an article that I first saw on the newspaper wall in the background. And I translated it and I was like, is that right? Did she get deported? And I looked it up and I found the article for it. And yes, she did. Something about her passport meant that she didn't have clearance to stay the time that she was there, even though it was like a one day difference. And so the police showed up, and like took her from the airport and they called UC and UC had to go pick her up. It was very weird. Jenny Thomas is a name that's been sort of mysterious to me because I see it on some of the lyric writing credits for some of the songs, but I seem to have no idea who she is. By the English sounding name, I would assume that she's just like, I don't know, a supervisor for English or for writing the lyrics or something. But I recently found an article in the archives that confirms that Jenny Thomas is Jamaican and that Jenny Thomas was at one point UC's girlfriend. 
This is tea. Okay, the Yamsa. See how hard these are to say? Okay, the Yamsa record release refers to um, another article that I found through the archives of Es Saleh Dinen and a few of his friends and UC. And apparently they'd all like produced an album together or something. And so they went out to have this party and there was an article about it. I just think this article is funny because it produced one of the best, maybe the best UC image out there. Look at this UC bling. I love this. Oh my gosh. He's such a baller. What a horse refers to a rap single, I believe, that UC helped produce with someone else. And it's on Spotify in Finland. So it's not on the Spotify that I can see. And there's very little information about it online. Like, I'm I'm really confused. All I can see is this picture, which is really funny, <laughs> and evidence that it has something to do with horses, but I seriously have no idea. And the last piece of the UC Homey iceberg I want to talk about is <laughs> young UC making bread. This just refers to a really random quote in an article about the Homey family, about how UC <laughs> about how UC used to bake bread for his mom in the morning. <laughs> it's like the most random UC fact ever. I think it's fantastic. Okay, I have some UC hot takes, some opinions that have been boiling beneath me ever since last December. And I have a basically no fan base online that I can talk to to get all these opinions out. So here we go. Number one, Autumn Gold, greater than sign, Funny Funk. Don't get me wrong, I think both the songs are amazing, but Funny Funk is the one that got all the attention, and I hear nobody ever talk about Autumn Gold, which is kind of sad because, in my opinion, I think it's the better song. I just think it's very pretty. But like I said, they're both good. Okay, I have one that just says UC is hot. <laughs> this one's pretty self-explanatory. I will not elaborate. Okay, the UC Homey and Laura St. John album B-side is better than the A-side. This one I actually think anyone can agree with. Um, the first half is... What is it? TikTok, TikTok, Fly on the Wind, Fools Like Us, Let Me Live, and Give It Up, maybe? Or is that on the B-side? Anyway, the first few ones are very pop-oriented. I don't know, they're very upbeat, but they don't feel very UC. But once you get to Give It Up and onwards, all of the songs are just complete bangers. They're fantastic. They're lovely. You got Give It Up, which sounds like this awesome, like, kind of synthwave sci-fi number. Love Pact is beautiful, and How It Feels is, in my opinion, one of UC's greatest songs. You and Me Equal One, just a fun little number. And Summertime, I find hilarious because all the other songs on the album are all about like heartbreak and relationships and you used to love me and I love you. And then you get to Summertime and it's like, who loves summer? Me. It sounds like the Wiggles. I love it. It's so good. Number four, Katsun Elisen, How It Feels, and Ai Karakkaholden are UC's greatest songs. Now I have to admit that my opinion about some UC songs go up and down over time. Some days I'm, I'm really into Avi Kumalu, and then some other days I'm really into How It Feels, but they're all, they're all great. But I think, I think I've narrowed it down to these three. Seriously, I am obsessed with all of them. <laughs> Number five, UC is a great singer and he never gets credit for it. I know that singing isn't UC's cup of tea, put it in his own words, but he has a beautiful voice and no one ever talks about it. Like cuts on Elisa, some of the Lurie St. John songs are like, wow, that's beautiful. I just think it's an underrated piece of the UC history and I feel like it needs to be highlighted. Yes? Do I play Minecraft? I'm filming! Oh. And last but not least, you see home and mustache equals good. I just think it adds to his look so much, brings them all together. He's so iconic. In my opinion, 80s UC is not 80s UC without the stash. I also just wanted to share a fun story that I had um, related to UC. So before I heard the Laurie St. John album, I had heard about TikTok, TikTok, and Fly in the Wind. And then I was browsing Discogs and I saw that single online. And I thought, it's nowhere online to listen to. The only place I can hear it is right here. So I bought the album. It was 60 bucks. Then literally minutes after I placed my order and 60 bucks came flying out of my wallet, I looked online and I found the entire album for free, including those two songs. So I had just wasted 60 bucks. But I thought, hey, the physical copy is pretty fun too. I won't cancel my order, I'll just keep it. This ended up turning into a six month saga because the record went missing in the mail. 
Basically what happened is I received a record that was not my record and my record actually went to a guy in Belgium whose record I had. So I had this constant exchange over the course of half a year with the Germans trying to sort out when to mail things back and where to mail them and they got returned back to me a few times and returned back to them. Finally it was all sorted out and I actually ended up getting my money back because the record was lost in the mail and I never got it back. <laughs> but I gained some German friends in the process and I just think it's kind of sweet what happened. Also, I just want to say that I've talked to UC a few times on Instagram from all the programs and interviews that he's been on and all his social media presence. He just seems to be just a wonderful person, just a sweet, friendly Finnish golden retriever. And I just, I love him. Okay, I think that's everything I have to say. I have unloaded everything that I need to get out. Please go check him out. Um, check out his music, go to his social media and everything. And please, if you see the Suksun or Kevin Savile performances out there somewhere, please show them to me. If you find any newspaper articles about him, please send them to me. I, I love everything you see. Check out his new music, his old music, and just the man himself. Okay, I don't know how to end this video. Do you like how I wore a finished colors today? That was intentional. See you later. Hopefully this May, huh? 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 Actually, I do know how to end this video. For my flute final, for a flute class that I took last term, I did a cover of Aikarak Golden, and it's atrocious. Okay, I refuse to let you listen to any more of it. Okay, bye, that's it. <laughs>